Last week, I introduced you to a family grieving with the loss of their son. Family and friends gathered around them this weekend to show their support. Although the skies were gray and stormy, a crowd of people showed up in brightly colored attire to support a family who lost their son. Last December, the Stenger family lost their son Mitch to a heroin overdose. This Saturday, friends and family attended Mitch's walk in his honor. We're here for heroin, but um, more importantly here for Mitch and his family. I knew it would be large. I didn't expect it to be this large. You know, it's been raining cats and dogs for hours, so um, we're overwhelmed. We're blessed. Participants walked in shirts that read, Stop Heroin, and held up signs and photos of Mitch and other loved ones who lost their lives to the drug. Mitch's sister, Brooke, said the walk was a way to heal. I think that's the only way that I'm really getting through this, just talking to other siblings, parents, other people that have lost their loved ones to this horrible, horrible drug. At the halfway mark, the Stanger family released balloons into the air in remembrance of their son. An emotional moment for the family and onlookers. Purple color is for heroin awareness, and uh, you know the balloons went up in the air, and one of them took off, and um, you know people were talking that that one was Mitch. If you or someone you know is struggling with a heroin addiction, contact the St. Louis area's National Council of Alcoholism and Drug Abuse at 314-926-3456 for help. Reporting for LUTV News, I'm Caitlin Baker.